الحج أشهر معلومات فمن فرض فيهن الحج فلا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج وما تفعلوا من خير يعلمه الله وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقون يا أولي الألباب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا ونفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رحم الراحمين My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters Today, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will take another benefit of the pillar of Hajj. And I want you please to mark these videos in case in the future, insha'Allah ta'ala, you or anyone that you know is going to Hajj, please ask them to watch these episodes. They will be tremendous help. Because by the time we finish, inshallah ta'ala, I will be covering all the benefits of Hajj and I will give many tips that will help everyone who's going to Hajj to enjoy Hajj, inshallah ta'ala. So today's tremendous, amazing benefit of Hajj is that Hajj, it teaches us how to be patient. Before you go to Hajj, you usually ask people, advise me, right? And one of the most common advice that people give one another before they go to Hajj, they tell them, patience, patience. Every time you finish a load of patience, get another load of patience. You need a lot of patience. And that is an excellent advice. Hajj comes to teach us how to be patient. We all know, my brothers and sisters, that patience is divided into three kinds. As-sabr ala ta'a, was sabr anil ma'asiya, was sabr ala al-bala. Patience to perform ibadat, acts of worship. Patience to stay away from sins. And patience when you are hit by a calamity. All these are the three kinds of patience that the Muslim goes through all through his life. And all these three kinds of patience are demonstrated in Hajj. You need them all. You need all kinds of patience in Hajj. Patience in performing the ibadat. The first patience. Subhanallah. You need a lot of patience when you are performing tawaf. I'm telling you from now you are going to be pushed. You are going to be extremely tired. You are going to be sweating. You are going to see things that, you know, they're not according to the sunnah. And that might bother you. Patience. This man behind you hit you with his umbrella. Patience. This person hit you with his elbow. Patience. It is becoming very crowded. Patience. You will face some uh, difficulties when you are in Muzdalifa. You are used to being on your comfortable bed in a, an atmosphere, maybe air conditioned, and uh, or uh, you have uh, your own uh, way of sleeping uh, and your own time, and you don't like to be bothered. That's not going to happen in Muzdalifa. You are sitting on the street somewhere, on the street somewhere, huh? subhanAllah, and you're looking for a place to be able to nap for a little bit so you can have the energy because the next day is the big day. Okay? So that needs a lot of patience. When you are at the Jamarat, I remember my brothers and sisters, when we went in 2001, Wallahi, when, when we got to the Jamarat, it was so tough 
that I almost felt I am dying. And may Allah reward that brother who took me from that crowd and saved me. It was so, يعني, I felt like my, my soul is up to here. خلاص, I'm done. This is how tough it is. Patience. Now, alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, you have many stories. It's very spacious. You go there and you throw the stones. Very easy, the jamarat, subhanallah. But still, it needs a lot of patience. When you go in Arafah and you see the crowds, uh, you need a lot of patience. When the bus is late, you need a lot of patience. A lot of patience when you are walking and the fumes sometimes from the buses, huh? uh, you need a lot of patience. Every step of the Hajj teaches you to be patient, to perform all these ibadat. Then comes the patience to stay away from sins. You are sitting in a hotel, uh, five star, uh, the, the, the TV is right there. You need patience not to watch anything haram. You need patience not to put any 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 uh, utr, any tib, any cologne, huh? because you're not allowed to do that while you are in your ihram. You need patience in to uh, not to to look at anybody in, in the wrong manner. Huh? You have to have a lot of patience to stay away from committing sins. And then comes the most important is the patient patience on the tests. There will be a lot of tests. I'm telling you from now, my brother, my sister. Before you go to Hajj, there will be a lot of tests in Hajj. You might arrive and your luggage does not arrive. It happened so many times. You might arrive like one of our brothers one time. He, the minute he landed, he lost his wallet with $2,000 in it. All his money is gone. Patience. One time we arrived and they told us you have no rooms. And we stayed one, two nights sleeping in the lobby. Patience, no complaint. Patience. One time we went and there was no food for three days. Go manage yourself. Patience. When we were in Mina, the guy brought us just a piece of uh, uh, cracker and a, and a piece of cheese. This is your, your lunch. Uh, this is your food for the day and some dates. Patience. You have to be extremely patient. We are driving from Medina, uh, from Medina to Mecca in a regular bus and the air condition broke. For four, five, six hours, no air condition, 50 people in the bus, patience. It happens in Arafah many times that the air condition break because of the heat. You know, subhanAllah, patience. You need a lot of patience. These are tests that are coming your way. You got sick in, 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 in Hajj. It happens a lot. A lot of patience. Be patient, my brother. Allah is testing you. You want to go back as brand new baby for free? No, no, Habibi, you have to pay for it. <laughs> You're gonna go back brand new baby. So it will take a lot of effort, uh -huh. subhanAllah. So we have to be extremely, extremely patient. Anytime we are facing any kind of difficulty, anytime we are performing ibadat, we need a lot of patience. And one of the things that will help us be patient, remember, remember that the jidal, the argument, the, the, the fights in Hajj, ruin Hajj. Can you imagine after you spend all that money and all that time and all that effort, your Hajj is ruined because you, you lost your, your temper, you lost your, your uh, uh, and you start cursing and maybe you fought with this and you fought with that. SubhanAllah. And make sure you stay away from sins. I see sometimes people, Wallahi, this scene breaks my heart. Somebody with ihram, with ihram, smoking a cigarette, La ilaha illallah. My brother, my brother, my beloved brother. And you are in the most honored lands, in the most and the best times of the year. Please, my brother, try to control your desires and beg Allah to help you quit from that habit, subhanAllah. So, to help you achieve the patience, remember that Allah said in the Quran, Wallahu yuhibbu sabirin. Allah loves the patient ones. Wallahu ma'as inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Allah is with the patient ones. Wabashir is sabirin and give the glad tidings to the patient ones. You know, all these things will encourage me to be patient. Wajazahum bima sabaru jannatan wa harira. The reward of the uh, patient one is only jannah.
the angels are waiting and rewarding and giving them the glad tidings and the salam because bima sabartum because of your patience subhanallah and remember innama yuwaffa sabiruna ajrahum bi ghayri hisab allahu akbar the patient ones the reward with allah azza wa jal has no limit no limit allahu akbar so when i come back from hajj I will be very patient with my spouse, with my wife. I will be very patient with my children. I will be very patient with my elderly parents. I will be very patient with the people who work for me. This is what Hajj teaches us, to be patient. Brothers and sisters, I beg Allah Azza wa Jal in these blessed days and nights to gather me and you on Arafah next year, inshaAllah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, I ask you with the best of your names for everyone who's watching us. Ya Allah, forgive all their sins and make their best deeds, their last deeds, and make their last words, La ilaha illallah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadan la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. واذكروا الله في أيام معدودات فمن تعجل في يومين فلا إثم عليه ومن تأخر فلا إثم عليه لمن اتقى واتقوا الله واعلموا أنكم إليه تحشرون